little project. Let's try to extract some pyrite crystals. That's a really small one, but it might make a nice little sample. And here's a larger one. And my goodness, I wonder what else is buried inside a rock like that. So what I want to do is try an air scribe to knock away the rock that's surrounding the crystal. I don't want to remove it completely from the matrix. At least that's my goal. We'll see what happens. And in the air scribe, you can actually have, you know, typically one of two heads on it. That one being a chisel, and there's various shapes and sizes, and that one just being a scribe. More like the tip of a pen. And it pounds the rock really quickly, allowing me to mechanically etch out the rock that I don't want to keep, leaving behind, hopefully, the harder crystal. So let's give it a try, see what happens. So here's the wee rock, and typical of pyrite, it's cubic shaped, with little ones attached to it. Pyrite is considered an iron disulfide. So sulfur and iron. It's not typically mined for iron. It used to be mined sometimes for the sulfur. It can contain sometimes small amounts of cobalt, nickel, silver, or gold. Typically the gold amount is small, less than 0.25% by weight. However, with the right extraction process, it is sometimes economic to mine it from large quantities of pyrite. Well, that rock was softer than I had thought, but I got some really small pieces off of it, which are kind of neat. I think those just go in my little collecting bucket. Well, let's change up the tip to a chisel. I did it again. Well, turns out this video isn't about keeping rocks in matrix. It's about extracting beautiful crystals. <laughs> and what I have left here is a rock that I'll smash up just to make sure it's not hiding another one like that. Well, I'm pretty happy with this crystal. Even though it's loose and not stuck on the matrix, that's okay, really. Oh, where's my glue? Oh yeah, that's the way I found it. No, that's just bad business. Thank you for watching. We'll try it again soon. That was today's adventure. And before I attack the bigger rock, I'm going to practice on a different one. Okay, so this one, as you can see, has just a few up in this end. What's interesting is you can see the iron stain on the rock. Let's just try to peel that back and see how it works. Practice.
Ooh, 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 ooh. See that? Isn't that cool? I'm thinking to leave this end alone before I knock those things off. And instead, well, I think I'll save that and try cutting with a saw. That is really cool. Whoops. <laughs>